Hello, I'm Bacter, and this is my uh, a whole section on the this Jurassic is my friend Ms. Bundefund. Religion, strange subject. And here we are, Why are we here again? broken I'm into a zoo gift Maya. shop by traveling on an underground passage. A map of the world. It is a pity. I still don't know why I do these things. <laughs> it is a pity that cool. why do I come he here? thinks it's yeah. cool that he spun the glow. <laughs> pity they're extinct. Too many rich people want to come Oh, guess. yes, this is an indictment uh -huh. of modern Another life. Species. Indeed. In the pelicans are In extinct? the grim dark future, there are no pelicans snakes. or cheetahs. And he thinks a globe is cool. Very I nice. can understand I cheetahs. Aren't they... Like yeah, under extreme. They're inbreeding super inbred, right? Days. I mean, there's not enough to keep up genetic yeah. diversity. So yeah, I guess oh, they're headed. The for, yeah. I thought pelicans were just like a dime a dozen. Well, not not in the future. You can't even go out on this. I've well, the ball. well, we got a bulb, so that's, oh, that's something. Oh, good. We stole a light bulb. Your choice, awesome. buddy. <laughs> it isn't Atlas's nah, choice. That's it. not the, that's not the the mythology at all. Pretty convincing. But probably plastic. And then Atlas was like, oh, oh, I guess. Oh. More books on extinct remember when Atlas tricked Hercules and into holding it up and this then Hercules tricked him back that. in the span of five minutes? I think the thing I like about literature or um, classic mythology is it's mostly based on just big, dumb people tricking each other. Here's a section on goddesses. It's pretty much all of my stories today revolve around that, so yeah. yeah. Interesting. This section has well, we happen to gods. need uh, to know about Egyptology uh, and Egyptian gods to solve a computer encrypted password. Strange that all the I'm getting terrible flashbacks mm -hmm. to another museum gift shop. <laughs> yeah, maybe one of these daggers is, is real. This is I th I would like it if <laughs> Laura Bow just slowly took over this game. <laughs> <It's a book laughs> he develops a little southern drawl as it goes on. Eventually starts right. growing red the hair. Costumes gradually become more and more period. Uh -huh. So here's the, uh, there's Nut, there's Huepo's Hathor. Yep. This is not a good book for a museum, <laughs> by the way. This is. I like how the book does not actually have no. labels. I assume that Josh just recognizes right. them by sight. This is sight. just our, our pre-knowledge of, oh, oh, sure, that's Hathor, of course. <laughs> Without right. the book, he 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 kind of like he remembers them when he sees them, you know. It's like that really annoying. Uh, uh, going, we we can't unlock the door from the back, huh? We just gotta. What go are you back nuts? No, we have to go through the sewers and and slide across on the chain. So, the sewer access through the decorative wishing. I can't well. help but think that we're uh, getting slightly off from our goal of finding the terrorists here. I mean. I guess I guess we're not because this is a, an adventure game. No. Hey, there's that bulb. By this point, we've long stopped caring about the advent about the mm. terrorists. We're just here to loot light so bulbs. So we've here. unscrewed the light bulb. We're screwing in the new light bulb because we're adults and we can do whatever we want to. So. That's right. We spend our time. No light sources no. on us. No, and and the light from that other room doesn't really light anything. I'll be prepared to be amazed. This is going to be a crazy room. Oh, Whoa. It is. Just wall-to-wall -wall corpses. <laughs> Another oh, wow. We got an FMV very and everything. Oh, it's thing. just an utterly uninteresting. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Big pile of crap. Oh, yeah, we don't know what that lever is. There's some old paint cans. That's not a lever. It's not a lever. That's no. a broken valve. Well, we don't have an Egyptology. We don't have a looks like pipe drain book. Nah, no, we were able to uh, engineer the defeat of a magnetic field by passing mm. a live wire through it. This, but, is uh, this is beyond us. All right, time to turn the valve. Yep. With probably with our tools. Just shrugging. <laughs> That's what they do after a certain point. He stops getting unique animations for everything. Yeah, the ordinary looking sink hasn't been used mm, right. for a while. Standard sink. Well, Good. who can blame them? Just whatever. Ugh. What do you want me to do? Broken shelf. Hey, a three-way adapter. One of those universal types. It adapts most plugs to most sockets. So there's a there's a lot of engineering that goes on in this game. We're sort of uh, when we rolled our character, we took high skills in uh, technical proficiency and low in uh -huh. anything else really. And a couple in Egyptology, right. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> you never know what it's. This is one of those times when the DM throws that's in something what, utterly stupid just to make the guy feel good was, about his choices. Yeah. 
Man, there was a group that did um, some White Wolf adventure games back in my high school, and uh, it was just, they had a DM or a storyteller, I guess, since it was White Wolf, who was just way too accommodating. Like, um, those yeah. games let you take, uh, like, what are supposed to be negatives to your characters for increased benefits in other areas, you know? So you can, be, you can have, like, sure. paranoia to something. And they would just take like 30 paranoias and have some completely jacked up character. And he was game for it. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll try to work in you know, apes and mandrels and tigers into this right, story. Right, right. Any DM worth of stones would have just spit in their faces. That's what that's what mm -hmm. dungeons. I like how mandrel phobia is distinguished from ape phobia. <laughs> they are a little distinct. It's totally different. Yeah, mandrels are fairly aggressive mm -hmm. and apes, well... Anyway, if but your guy is afraid of them all. Uh, all right, remember, let's turn the half hour wheel. Or let's whatever. say what what really happens here is somebody listens to the stupid Sphinx say the code and writes it down, whereas we just look it up on Game Facts or whatever and uh, cross reference it with the book. I mean, if this was done for real, there would be a lot of like listening to the Sphinx four times and opening up our inventory. Right. Nope. To say nothing of the guy who doesn't do either and just brute forces this very, very, very symbols. small number of permutations mm -hmm. lock. This is... I got that combination well, correct. listen to you, <laughs> Josh Reef. <laughs> oh, so let's pleased. see what this, uh, what this zoo puts inside of their sphinx openable with these big, dumb, turnable stone wheels. Hey, it's a, it's a fan room. Is that a shotgun? That is uh, a laser gun, in fact, I think. You know, it's a, oh, microwave. a microwave. Well, now we can open it's locks again. In case, you need, oh, a, almost out of case you need a grilled cheese sandwich in a hurry. They've... Yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> As... A dismantled mechanical lion. It's a big jacket, mm -hmm. I guess. Interesting biology lesson. Yeah. This isn't a biology it's, lesson. No, it's a mechanical... It's got nothing to do with biology no. at all. I don't think I'm up to repairing it. He just tapped it once. I guess you're not. <laughs> you just... A nice <laughs> jacket, but I'm not on a fashion parade. Oh, that's for darn sure, Josh. I don't need it. I like it. Just touch it. Rustled through it just to make Vaguely. sure. Everything appears to be mm, switched check off. All the I can see the goddess Kali on the... Well, this the is screen. apparently... Uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. The button seems to be a simple two switch. Seems to be switch. a simple, enormous a giant two button. switch. <laughs> hmm. Color I mean, for how difficult changed. it was to get in here, like you have to know esoteric Egyptian mythology. Off. Once you get in, it's pretty much just touch button to turn off force right. field. Is on the monitor. The button seems yeah, to be got a it, Josh. So this is, of course, the force field hmm. room. Color of the button has changed. Right, yeah, I got it. Which, I mean, if they ever needed to modulate those, you would have to be working. like, quick, today is Kali rising with the, the button has you know, Hathor ascended. Mm -hmm. Hurry up with those stone discs, man. I guess um, Umbrella Core <laughs> in the future is, is making zoos now. Right. I'm being a little surprised that there's no way to, uh, I don't know, adjust the strength of the nah. field. It's just on, on or, or off. off, buddy. That's how microwaves work. I mean, that's how, whatever, magnetic fields work. I have, right. I forget what we're doing at this point. Maybe we forgot something. Um, Maybe Josh is just feeling I really indecisive. Like, he really likes this room. It's comforting in here. Well, there's the mechanical lion. Right. I guess you could name it. Yeah. I can't think of any other attractions for this no. room. Don't go back in. Don't go back in. Please. I would say go on, go but I know in. what else is in this zoo, and I really don't want to get to that. <laughs> I'm sad enough at where we are. I think my are. favorite part in the game is coming up, though. So that that is in the zoo. Hey, look what they have in the zoo. <laughs> Literal magma <laughs> and exploding volcanoes. A long this is down. such a hazard. This is a, a, yeah, I mean, this was... You know, closed off a by force field. Tiny rope bridge. Very narrow, but they did include bridge. an actual creaky rope bridge, so there's that. Right. With look how fast that magma is flowing. Oh, and look, it's a mechanical dinosaur. <laughs> uh, damn, mechanical or not, that's a pretty good. Yeah, I, I guess. 
That's a really good robot dinosaur. It's, it's got some pretty advanced AI we'll in there. Fortunately, we have a one-shot microwave, microwave gun. It. Yeah. All right, Josh. In the grim, dark future of the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, I wasted the critter, but I used all the. All shit right, the gun. all right, Humphrey Bogart. So, you know, it's pretty bad adventure like game technique mm -hmm. to introduce the solution to a right. puzzle problem before you even are aware of the yeah. problem. As usual, artificial I'm planet. so jaded by these plastic shrubs. I don't know. If I was in an abandoned zoo and I ran into like literal lava flow and I just well, short-circuited a mechanical, fully place. functional Not raptor with a microwave space. gun, I might not be like, oh dang it, plastic plants again. <laughs> it's an entrance to the cave. You guys really got me with that. <laughs> yeah, what a shock. Yep. So, I, there's just a... So carefully animated th and there's a really no reason. startling attention to detail in this zoo. Like, it's not like you get backstage and, you know, it all falls to pieces. They... Like, if they're going to have a prehistoric exhibit... I, I do notice a startling lack of animal pens. Well, they're all robots, you see. Mechanical or not. I think it's a robot zoo. I don't care. We've seen exactly one that was actually... Made and repaired the exhibit. Never yeah. mind. Whatever. Also, if they're all robots, care. is it a zoo? I mean, all the plants are plastic. Sure. Dinosaur skin. Very yes, that's almost exactly like the real dinosaur skin that I know what it's like. <laughs> no use to me. It could burn mm. brightly. Get that flare, Josh. Does that say flame? A flare. No oh, flare. Is. Because when you're repairing a dinosaur, sometimes you need a uh, a short-term flare. Yeah. You never know. Luckily for me, they hadn't finished making this dinosaur. <laughs> what? I like how he just rocks the head a couple just times. Just contemplatively. Just sort of pushes mm -hmm. everything. It's full of garbage. The voice actor like isn't terrible. Nothing. Of interest he, you know, it here. sounds like he's emoting, but none of the emotions make sense. Hmm. Yeah, Strange he clearly recorded all his lines without any knowledge of the context. They'd be. Yeah, seeing. I guess that's what it is. Well, that's fancy. Over oh, see, they do have cages. That's where they keep the robot dinosaurs in that cage. Hmm. Uh -huh. Press it again. Yeah, that's way more than you need. Also, I don't know. Would that hold a robot stegosaurus? Do you think? What kind of uh, what kind of technology? It's a triceratops. Yeah, but Philistine. Well, I mean, no. Obviously, that dinosaur isn't done. We've we rocked its head back and forth a few times. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, I see. Fine. There's, whatever. There's the just off-screen Stegosaurus that I'm wondering about. Creep, uh -huh. creep, uh -huh. creep. I'm sure there is one. <sighs> well, it's good that we uh we did all this to get mm -hmm. a flare. We picked up a microwave gun and traded it mm -hmm. for a flare. I'm not sure we're ahead in this exchange, well, but whatever. We haven't explored all the zoo yet, so maybe in the other part of the zoo we're really... Surely we could buy a flare nope. somewhere. This is the grim, dark future, where flares are illegal. Uh, I hate the future. Uh, well, we can get the collie now, so I guess we can uh, go to the, the... Remember, he said a very realistic-looking goddess, so... Josh Reeve doesn't uh -huh. settle for just any uh, cut-rate goddess there. No, we only need the real quote-unquote mm -hmm. deal. I wish it was like one of those in Vagrant so Story where it comes to life and just impales Kali. him. Right. I, I can't believe it. It's also made You can't out of believe plastic. that? Do you think it would be Why brass or like... <laughs> Artificial plants. Plastic He's as disgusted by this whole exhibit. There's a faucet here. There's right a faucet here. for the plastic plant that he just pushed out of the way. <laughs> just in raw disgust. Non oh, a non-plastic brass faucet. <laughs> He's just so happy to see something that's not plastic yeah. right now. That's what kind of future we live in. Anytime you I'm see I'm starting it. to think there's more dinosaurs in the plastic than there are in the robots. Yeah. Regulator. This is more of a... It's, it's like cut-rate huh. Jurassic Park. Anyway, we turned off the flame to right. the... Uh, the brazier there. Mm -hmm. The brazier. So what are we going to do with that, you ask? 
Well, we're gonna stand around and look at it for I a while. I didn't ask. I don't care. It's made mm, of brass. Non-plastic brass, I bet. Let's turn it again. Yep. Gonna steal some kerosene or whatever that thing. Oh runs yeah. On. A small pool of fuel. Yes. Is inside. Fuel. Wow. It's literal, literal mm. fire. Man, there must be enormous just reserves of that kerosene. Of... Just, I mean, for it's still <laughs> to be squirting out. This thing was abandoned like 30 years I ago. Better not drink it. Well, you heard it here. Yes, you better not <laughs> drink it. I'm glad that you've noticed. <laughs> Safety that here, tips Josh. from Josh Reeve. So, uh -huh. I see we're just filling every spare container we mm -hmm. can find. With you know, the stuff. thing is, like, you say, as it's true, like, it's not good to uh, introduce solutions to puzzles before the puzzles themselves. But one thing about this game is, like, the, the puzzles are never obviously solved by the solutions that you get. You know, it's one of those adventure games where you just pick up everything because who even knows what the solution is? Oh boy, I love this part. Hey, there's a young kid up there. <laughs> There's that kid. He's floating because he's got a jetpack on. Okay. There's a okay a flying boy here in the abandoned we, zoo. Whatever he's doing, it must be important. He isn't shipping. He's in an abandoned there. zoo. He's floating. Hey, kid. Ah, uh, it's no use. He can't. Sound hear. doesn't Wait, propagate well. It, Josh. The water looks foul and it stinks. <laughs> I'm not. Nah, you're there. too cool for that, Josh. So I guess that's a control panel up there or something. The kid's uh, floating and... Looks like this <laughs> sure. crap ran on oil. Oh, uh, oil, you say? Just like the oil we just got from the goddess Kali? That's oil right. Oil All red, flammable fluids the are the mm -hmm. same. Doesn't no matter. Kerosene, oil, gasoline. This rusty old equipment is connected to the sluice. Right. Well, if only we could operate that sluice. A rusty old sluice. Maybe you could drain that disgusting liquid and we could get over to that kid. It's a control panel for the machine. I doubt it. Well, let's look at that control panel. Maybe if we adjust the control panel. Surely there must be a way over there other than draining nope. their entire... Also, we just killed the kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, Damn. well, I can't say I'm upset. I don't know. We just <laughs> murdered a kid. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite part. I'm just going to go ahead and spoil one thing for you. At least to the point I got to in the game, which is almost in the end, we never learn anything about this okay, kid. He's just a floating kid in the zoo. <laughs> Who knows? We just killed we him. Just, we just murdered a kid. Well, okay. He's probably on his own adventure game quest. That would be, just put a sudden stop That would to be it. the greatest if you get an adventure game and halfway through out of nowhere. Uh... That's All right, so we put the kerosene guy in there. His own stupid now, quest. Now, obviously, this is... Just... Uh. <laughs> oh, mechanical engineering. But oh no, we dove right onto our two-way communicator, and now that's broken. Damn. The minicom is busted. It's just spitting sparks now. That's... A really strong battery. Yeah. If it's literally spinning. Every time sparks. you press a button, it's just it was completely. Mm -hmm. So we didn't actually have to drain it at all. We could have walked right across on this thing. Watch out uh, for that. Must have been really, really polluted if we couldn't see like through two inches down, what, a centimeter of it. Robotic creatures mm -hmm. seen better days. Yeah. Poor old crocodile. Well, there's the dead kid. <laughs> Let's yeah. check his body. That's right. He's out cold. Ah, uh, thanks, serious. Josh. Thanks for lying to us. He had a remote control. That's on. right. I'll take that. <laughs> That's right. We gotta loot him for all the random crap he's so, been picking up for his own adventure. I mean, components. forgive me, but there's the panel up here that uh, they couldn't have like put the remote control in the panel. It had to be held by a floating kid that we murdered and took. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever it takes, I guess. Presumably the kid wanted to control a robot alligator sure. with it. And that, you know, I can respect that. He's probably part of some go gang or something mm -hmm. that uh, jet sets around yeah. this city and they broke into here for, uh, you know, for kicks. Just always stealing robotic mm -hmm. animal controls. But uh, we put a stop to that criminal behavior. So case closed, Josh. Wonder how they keep the sand in just this one part of the exhibit. Over here, it's, it's probably plastic. It sand. is. He's probably it's probably just a big fake plastic lump. magma. Mm-hmm. Look at those. Uh, 
I think plastic magma would still kill you pretty well. <laughs> yeah, just as dangerous, I'm sure. I, what I do love is uh, rickety footbridges with no actual danger. An entrance to the cave. Just, uh, just there to creep you out, really. I see you have to click on the footbridge. Right. Each no, he time. won't just you cross can't just it. Just click past it. And <laughs> he, he thinks no. you want to do something else. He's. Uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, so you saw that we got that uh, fancy remote control. I can't even tell you how excited. Oh, this I is going to be good. Hmm. A strange key with the Zayman Now we can press the button on here and the cage door moves up and down. As you, uh, I'm sure, there we go. Right Thanks, here. Josh. Thanks for demonstrating that. But now that we have the, uh, Try. now that we have that dead kid's remote control. Cool. Yeah, neat. It's also a secret door thing. It's two in one function. Pity the minicom got busted. I must be near the terrorist space. Well, <laughs> I agree. Logically, that's the only conclusion that we can really come to. Yeah, we've seen so many signs of terrorists Where else so could far. we be but a terrorist base? It's a shame we can't radio mm -hmm. in to our mayor friend and tell so him all here about this. We have this. the player ship from Descent. Mm -hmm. must be the controls for those large mechanical ah, it dancers. must be, of course. <laughs> what else could it be? Wonderful, but they're of no use to me right now. All right. I'm sure all will be clear soon. Looks very powerful. Mm. Who Does knows it? what? The, Looks like a cargo. Who thing. knows what dangerous things the terrorists are doing? Yeah, it's just completely full of terrorist acid. Great, one hundred percent. No use to me at the moment. <laughs> yep. <laughs> No crates, no bags, no nothing. Right. It's just, just you open bubbling. it and it all pours out. Right. Hmm. There's a label on the crate. Ah, uh, yes, jokes. the terrorist king of jokes. That's right. Uh -huh. This is going to turn into a Batman found feature. A set of telescopic pincers. It looks like there's something no else good. in here. Telescopic mm -hmm. pincers. Mm -hmm. Fine. <laughs> what? Like what weirds me out? I want to know what those are. Is that cool? It's uh, not. This isn't like a like a comedy game. But it is! Like, it has to be! You know, like, we're, we're traipsing around in a zoo with these, like, animatronic dinosaurs and we just electrocuted a kid, but Josh won't break noir character for even a second to, like, wink at the, at, you know. No way. He's, uh, yep. he's just really dedicated to this Humphrey Bogart thing. I can't like, I feel it. like they didn't... Co He's doing his I best. I feel like they didn't give him, like, the character notes, or, like, didn't read the plot, or something. Like you said, maybe he just hasn't read the, uh, the plot description, but he has to know what he's reading, like... No, they just gave him, like, all his lines in alphabetical yeah, order. but, like... He, without any context. If you're reading a tough guy Humphrey Bogart line, and what you have to read is, oh, great, telescopic pincers. <laughs> like, maybe that should be a clue. Hmm. Very imposing. I think by the time you've made it to the O lines, yeah, you think. don't care anymore. No good. I can't. You know, it works out way. in a way because uh, noir protagonists are supposed to sound sort of wearied and soul dead, and by the time it goes right. up into the ceiling structure. Ah, uh, yes, the ceiling structure. That's the uh, <laughs> that's the technical term for the, I've heard the of second those. floor. Mm-hmm. Well. This is a very tall hanger, yeah. I guess. Also, this is part of the zoo, so good thing they have this. Push buttons I think on the, the ceiling. For the trap door. I guess this is probably how you uh, managed... Who knows? This is probably how you managed um, deliveries this in the grim, dark future. The well, thank goodness we got out of there. The that roof? place we're probably was well underground. Oh, I guess we're not. <laughs> nope. We're just suddenly we locked roof. ourselves out of the zoo because we're big old dummies. Also, I like how they talked about how the zoo was only accessible by like, you know, underground tram. It's nope, it's right in the middle of the city. I'm, I'm trying to remember the stuff that we picked up while we're down there. Is it possible to screw ourselves if we didn't pick up the the junk, um, the appropriate stuff from the sewers? I'm actually going to give the game the benefit of the doubt and say it probably you probably don't need that stuff, but I will keep my mind on it. It was the telescopic pincers and something right, else. May have a use. But not for this. The hologram projector. Mm -hmm. Solid and barred. I've no idea why anyone would want to break in, though. 
Well, we do. Yeah, I guess we're gonna nope. break in first and then find out we're why gonna someone sort of halfway to, climb up there and whatever. <laughs> Whenever he doesn't actually do something, he just does the most half-hearted right, uh, fake attempt at it. Uh, just the lock on touches the, the jacket. No, I oh, I hope that's not necessary to say that it's almost but not quite bomb-proof. No good. It'll take something like a bomb, he says. Uh -huh. it, would, it would take a near right, bomb. Right, I got it. <laughs> it's closed. I got you, Josh. It appear very secure. Uh, he's the Fine, master of observation. It. Here we go. No good. Perhaps I can if only we had a crowbar. Oh, now this is this is one of the things that I love. It's time for some good old inventory management. <laughs> it just flings it right away from him. So no more crowbar. You were that's fine. You were our best friend, crowbar. You helped us when no one else would. A big crumbling machine. It's obviously I don't see any crumbles. It's He's just shrugging. Eh, whatever. What do you want? Yeah. Operating temperatures I don't know, and generator Josh. checks. Nothing uh, of real interest. Who cares about operating temperatures? I don't need these documents. Uh, no reason to take that. That's a big piece of paper. This contains mm. hydrogen. Everything does, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> This He's talking about the atmosphere between him and the tanks. He's secretly making a joke. A faucet used to regulate and mix the gas. He thinks he's punking us. It's a meter showing how much gas is That's in the right. cylinders. They look almost empty. Mm. The meter looks. Fine Man, this is Space Station 13. We're about to it's make a bomb using pressurized mm -hmm. gas tanks. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what this game yeah, is. Yeah, pretty soon a clown's gonna come well, dancing wow. in through the door. Takes the gas. That would actually be incredibly uh, creepy if a clown came dancing in through that door. That would turn this Shame game into a horror game instantly. Security on the door. <laughs> what? Deep fries the captain's spare ID and eats it right in front of you. <laughs> that would actually improve the game. The gas is I'm, I'm genuinely creeped out imagining a clown dancing in through that door, though. That's just, I don't know, something about this environment. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. I'm getting clown fear. This is such a dangerous setup, right? All these completely unregulated just pressure mod modulators and just tanks of hydrogen gas and tanks oxygen. Full of hydrogen. I would say that uh, my college is set up much better, but we did just have an enormous acid spill that cleared the campus the other week, so apparently not. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna say that a spill of a liquid is not nearly as fair dangerous enough. As this. Yeah. Okay, I can bend and twist the pipe. Also, it was just acid, not like some sort right. of, I don't know, toxin. Yeah. yeah, at least that's true. Fumes would be dangerous, yeah. Fumes know. were nasty, but honestly, they probably didn't need to evacuate everything. It was just uh, just covering their bases. Right. All right, so here's a hose. We're going to uh, hook through the window there. Good thing that the uh, hydrogen and oxygen tanks constantly spewing out pressurized <laughs> gas aren't necessary for anything. <laughs> Also, not to belabor That's a point, right. but apparently we're at the very, very far end of the 30-year compressed oxygen tank. It's, it's, right. it's pretty compressed. It's just, just been sitting there, right? slowly compressing. Mm -hmm. You ever seen one of those, like, what would happen if people disappeared timelines? Oh, sure. I'm pretty sure that 30 years down the road, it's not like, we're just starting to run out of pressurized gases. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, now do you remember our two-way communicator? That, yes, uh, the one we dove on and yes. broke. And all it does now is spark. spit out sparks. You uh, see. Here's yep. another lesson for us. If you uh, put sparks valve, over gas, gas escaping outlet. from a, uh, a hose <laughs> that's the same as a bomb. Gas I see. Out. I mean, I'll grant you, it would be wildly irresponsible to shoot sparks next to a <laughs> hydrogen-oxygen mix that's leaking quickly out of a hose. Then, right, <laughs> it wouldn't. It would. The worst you could expect would be it to travel down the hose and right. blow up the tanks inside. Right. Don't huff that gas, there, Josh. All right, here we go. That's right. It's pure oxygen, or maybe hydrogen. Hey, there we go. We've created a blowtorch. Uh, there are no negative side effects to what we've done. Damn it! That damn <laughs> alarm again! 
Oh, the keystone. Just half an The often. keystone cops are on the case. And here comes paramilitary smoker. I thought Morgan had fixed it. Don't know what's the matter with the freaking thing. Better just shut it off and I not investigate. Okay. Gotcha. Seems fine. We are right now Morgan blow torching our way. <gasps> he dropped a match. Uh huh. Good. We won't need to use our sparking communicator anymore. Mm -hmm. So here's the uh, crack terrorist security. Against all odds, we apparently right. are in the terrorist base. Man, if Josh Reeve didn't you know, have a case of... There's a lot of traffic noise out here. Mm -hmm. I mean... Surely someone would right, notice fine. these, like, carriers bringing in terrorist acid and, yeah. It's now, to I was more thinking here. about the traffic noise alerting all, uh... I, that yeah. I don't even know what accent that was. I know what Hillbilly. the what the real problem is here. The problem is you've played too many futuristic civilization builder sims to know that you would never allow terrorists for even a second in one of those cities. They would be obliterated by the security never forces. Know when someone might need a life. Right. Is, uh, anyway, well, how are we going to get past this situation? What situation, you ask? Well, the workmen well, there's some terrorists. It. Not terrorist workmen. It's no use. I can't open it with my but bare with hands. my cougar hands. <laughs> I know we were carrying those around <laughs> for a reason. Picked him way back up in the uh, in the zoo there. All right. Fine. Let's unscrew yep. everything. This is thanks, the Josh. Mm -hmm. This is the earth. Thank you. This is the what negative. is that? One? This switch is a lot simpler than this I thought it would be. Look in the uh, in the future, they've really streamlined everything. Mm -hmm. obviously a strong see. Also, everything this is panel just behind a panel behind a panel for just a very basic switch. Everything is just huge wires. All right. Right. So, uh, time to. So we're sabotaging the alarm, I guess. Oh, I wish. This is the this earth. Is the earth. All right, we've unscrewed that uh, the ground there, the contact. Okay. There. Ground wires busted. Switch and electrical current. Right. We'll we've now uh, incredibly <laughs> electrified this. I better this. not touch it. I don't want to attract attention. It's the cover for the alarm. So switch. essentially, anybody who flicks the switch now will get uh, whatever the future considers to be okay, a power it. main level of current. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Will this murder another? So you're man? saying he will become a small pile of drifting ash within <laughs> That's seconds. That's right. Joshua Reed, hero, everybody.